I started in the industry about uh, in 2001, November of 2001, and I did I did really well and learned to make money uh, really fast. And then so, you know, I thought I was going to be a millionaire at 27. Um, but what ended up happening was at 27 or 20, you know, right around there, 26, 27, this crash came, right? So I was building up all of this capital. I thought I was doing well. I thought money grew, grew on trees. And then all of a sudden, 2007, 2008 comes and I start at zero. And I actually had to borrow money from my parents for a month. Um, and it was a, it was a tough time. But what I learned is that making money and keeping it are two completely different things. And so that experience um, changed my life and changed my viewpoint on money. And, and, and so it, it made it so that, um, you know, things are, things are much different. Like for example, right now, my investment income covers my living expenses, right? Um, whereas before I was going too aggressive. I was going too, too heavy on certain investments. I was making really terrible decisions. And that's just because of what was in my circle. What I was learning was all about making money and not about keeping it. And so that's kind of where I started to learn about, Hey, wait a minute. Um, there's gotta be a different way. Cause I was making a ton of money. And then all of a sudden I lost it. All. I lost it all, everything that I had. Right. So I, I, I read two books. One is rich dad, poor dad. And the other was the millionaire next door. Those two books dramatically changed my life. because They gave me a different perspective on money and how to actually handle it and learning that those two things, making money and keeping it are two vastly different yeah. things. And then being in the mortgage industry, I've seen it, right? I've done thousands of loans. I've seen people who have very low income and have a ton of money put away, right? And I, and I, that's relative. So it's many months of their salary put away. And I've seen people that have a ton of money, right? Multiples of what the average American makes, yet they can't afford a $500 appraisal. And so look, seeing all those has just given me a good education as far as what to do and how to handle uh, money so that, you know, I'm not in that paycheck to paycheck, uh, you know, having that, that problem. Yeah. So, so with reading rich dad, poor dad, millionaire next door, would you say those are two pretty different ways of going about your personal finance or did you see I, I think, those things come together like uh like i you know i think they i think they're different um in that rich dad poor dad was changing your view on the concept of of you know making money yeah and so whereas whereas the millionaire next door it compared two different families that had the similar income and one went on to go be really wealthy and the other just kind of stayed poor um, and so, you know, there, there, there could be some similar lessons between them. Um, but I think there, I think there's a lot of differences there, but you know, there's a lot of books out there. I get a piece, I get something different from every one of them. So, you know, read as many as you can. Mm -hmm.